Hi folks, we've got a broken internal door handle off on this Beko WM series washing machine. Now I'm not going to pay £80 to get someone to come out, so I actually bought the part for £6.10 pence off of the Beko website. So let's fit this and save ourselves some money. Right, well this is a Beko washing machine, uh, WM74135LW, whatever that means. And this plastic handle on the door is actually broken off here. It goes in there, it's hidden actually inside. So to get this off and to replace it, I bought the replacement part from the directly from the Beko website. So you know it's a genuine part. And as you can probably see there, this is what we're looking at and this is the bit that's broken off as you can see there. This part is still in the door, so let's get the door off. The easiest way to do that is to take the door off. And all we've got to do to that is to take off the retaining clip around the actual door seal, peel that back, put our hand inside, and then undo the screws, because there's a plate in the back there, and we don't want that dropping inside the drum and down there. So let's get that sorted. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, why do I need to take the door off? Well, we have to take these row of screws out around the door there, as you can see, and this needs to be located in place, and this is actually quite heavy, so taking these off will free up the hinge anyway while you get this door off, but you'll have a problem put when you put it back together. Also, make a note on the little catch mechanism, as you can see there. On this one, it faces outwards, the little hook faces outwards, so just make a note of that some of these actually face the other way around. So that's the only observation I want you to make, and what we'll do now, to, so we can get our hand in there to support the back of the bracket that's in there so it doesn't fall down we'll take off the uh, metal ring that goes right the way around this plastic seal there this rubber seal sorry just took a screwdriver in pull it forward as you can see look be careful not to pierce the rubber seal obviously once you start it off it'll be fine maybe you want two screwdrivers just to edge it along just like taking a car tire off there you go see that come off and then just gently pull it forward out of that groove and that's the actual rubber ring i've got a spring there on there as you can see joining it together at the bottom just note that that's where that's going to go back in that groove on the outside so we're then able to pull the seal off this side of the door just be careful don't want to pull the whole lot off and then as you can see i can get my hand at the back there and just hold that plate in the back there so it doesn't drop down and now i can undo these two screws the one i'm going to undo first of all is going to be the bottom screw because we don't need to support the door when we undo the bottom screw first. If we undone the top one first, you might find the, draw, the door might fl flop over. So taking the bottom screw out isn't a problem. So again, literally just undo that. And now I'm going to hold the bracket and just loosen the top one. You might want two people here if you're not uh, able to hold this door in place, but. Uh, you should be because I think it sits on some clips as well. So I just don't want that bracket inside to drop. So I've taken that screw out, keeping my thumb on the door there. And now I can just lift and then pull the door away. And you're able then, hopefully, to see this bracket, which you can just push up and then withdraw. And as you can see, that's where it is there. So them two bits sit in them slots and then just drop down, hooks it in place. So that's off now. And one other thing I want to draw to your attention as well is that the glass... The sliding bit is at the top of the door. So that's what you just want to remember as well. The sliding bit is at the top of the door. Right, so top of the door with the slope. Right, these ones are T20 Torx bits. So we'll just crack them all, loosen them all off and then take them all out. Right, so that's all the screws out. And you probably just need a little screwdriver just inside under the lip there just to separate the top rim so once you take all the screws out and you've released that just flip the door over be careful you don't want the glass to fall out and remember what way the handle lays out and as you can see now i'm able to lift off or separate the top rim which goes that way the glass sits in there that way yeah on this one the glass has got cut out so it can only go in one way you can't actually get it confused. On some of them, you've only got little cutouts there, 
and it's easy to have the door around the wrong way so just make sure that you've got that the right way around right so i'm just gonna leave that like that lift the glass out and as you can probably see here there's the remainder of our handle which is basically snapped off like that and all we've got to do is to take the pin out there remember the way this handle goes in because you need that spring to tension you don't want the hand when you put it back together you don't want the spring going back that way it needs to be forward so that the door can tension and all you do literally is pull that pin out like that lift out the catch now don't forget the catch faces outwards as i've mentioned on the uh, on the earlier video part and lift out our handle a new one will drop straight in there the same way around We'll put our spring back in through the door and then again our pin will go through and then push the pin home until it hits that little back stop at the back there and that's it. Basically that is it, that's the spring in. All we've got to do then is just to put the glass back in position, under the handle obviously. You need to make sure that this handle is in where it needs to go. Flip the door handle over. I'm just going to turn it over like that and as I say my main concern is, is that spring's got to be in correctly you might need to get the back of the glass out so that you can push that you'll see where it locates and just ensure you get that handle in position before you sit that glass back in it's a little bit fiddly and as you can see if I'm holding that in position I like to get these two front door screws in first so at least then we won't have a problem trying to get that spring relocated when I push the back of the door in. And by putting these two in first, I'm able to sort the back out in a second. And as you can see, before I go any further, I'm just pulling that handle on the inside there and you can see it's going in and out. So now, I've got that spring in the correct position. I can then locate this door in its correct slot. I can then put that back in there. Like that. Drop that back down there. And then push everything back together. Just give it a tap into place. There we go. All back in. And then basically you put the screws back in. Right, okay, so that's the door back in place. I'm just going to slide that bracket back in as well. There we go. And drop it onto its position so that ain't falling out at the moment. Now, again, you might need someone's help to uh, rehang the door. Get your lovely assistant just to hold the door for you. first screw in like that replace your door seal around the outside and then basically replace your spring around the outside as I say you've got a bit of stretch with that spring so you may need to lever on again with the um, screwdriver method as I showed you be careful you don't damage the rubber seal Right, okay, that's it on. I won't lie to you, that was definitely a two-handed job for me to get there, I'm not being an expert, but uh, I think you'll see that's on now. So, we'll shut the door, see if it shuts. I'm just testing this clip one more time. That's, that's shut, and there we go. Job actually done, Mrs. B can now get on and do the washing, and I can get on restoring. So there we go, baby. A little six pound fix. She found the part um, online. Six pound ten p. On the Beco website, and I fixed it in probably about thirty minutes. And I used her help as well. That saved an eighty pound call out charge. Anyway, there you go. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Happy Until then, bye for now. Bye.